Hey everyone, today I want to show you a trick I learned from a friend, Matt Robinson, that if you work with spreadsheets that uh, deal with circular references, especially uh, large spreadsheets with a lot of links to circular references, this is going to save you a lot of time, a lot of headache. You've probably dealt with this. Uh, you accidentally hit a wrong key in an input that affects a circular reference. And the result is this wave of errors that go throughout your spreadsheet that can, can't be undone. This trick allows you to undo that. Uh, it's not something built into Excel. It, it's, a, it's an Excel hack, if you will, but it's a lifesaver. So let's get started. Let me show you uh, how this works first. I'll illustrate uh, how this errors out and how you can't undo it within Excel's um, standard functionality and then I'll show you this trick and, and how uh, it's just going to save you a lot of time. So here we have a construction draw schedule uh, that to both equity draw and loan draw that therefore calculates interest. Now the issue with calculating interest on a construction project is because there's no positive cash flows during construction the interest accrues to the loan balance and so uh, Interest is owed in one period, gets added to the loan, about, uh, loan amount in the next period, and then interest is owed both on the loan amount as well as the interest that's uh, been added to the loan amount. And the result is this circular reference where interest is being charged on top of interest on top of interest and so forth. And without this functionality in Excel, if you go here to formulas, without iterative calculation enabled, what you get is this error, right? Careful, we found one of more circular references in your workbook. Well, in order to fix that, right, as you come in here and, and uh, formulas and you enable iterative calculation, and essentially what it does is Excel does, in my case, 100 iterations of the same calculation over and over and arrives at an approximation of what my interest would be. It's not exact, but it's pretty close and, and it's sufficient for, for our needs here. The problem is, uh, if for instance, I go to my interest rate, it's 5%, and I change this to 2%, or I change it to 7%, and, and it doesn't have any issue. Uh, each time I do that, uh, in the background, it does 100 iterations of that calculation, and it comes up with this approximation. However, if I so imagine this scenario, I've spent half an hour in the workbook, uh, perhaps saved it, perhaps haven't. Uh, I reach this point, I'm doing whatever I do, I accidentally hit a key, I hit enter, and that H that I did here airs out my interest. Well, that's not a big deal, right? I just come back, let's put my phi back in there. Oh, shoot, right? And it's like, oh, no, what do I do? Well, let me hit, let me undo, control Z, control Z, control Z, nothing. It doesn't, doesn't fix it. So let me show you a solution to this. Well, first off, uh, unfortunately, this workbook that we're working in right now it's, there's nothing I can do about it. I would have to close this out and open up whatever version I had I, that I last saved that was that was not aired out like this. Oh, and even worse, imagine if I were to hit save right now, this workbook is dead. There's nothing I can do about it. So what I've done is I've thankfully have a copy of this same exact workbook. And let me add in this little trick that's going to solve that problem for us. So what I do, first I, will, I need to turn on the developer ribbon, which mine is already on. Let me show you how to do it. You come to Options. You go to Custom, Customize Ribbon. And then down here on the right-hand side of your Customize Ribbon, there's the ability to include or not include the Developer Ribbon. So you'll need to have that checked. Hit OK. Then we're going to go to Developer. And we're going to insert one of these check boxes on the Form Controls. Not an ActiveX, but a Form Control. Do, click that. I like to hit to hold down shift as I'm building that, okay? Let's expand this out a little bit. And I'm going to call this circuit breaker, okay? And what the circuit breaker is going to do is I'm going to check this box and then I'm going to uncheck the I'm going to check the box. I'm going to put my value back to the value that's correct. I'm going to un uncheck the box and it's going to fix my problem. But in order before I do that, before I sh show you any further, let me put this where I want it. I am going to link this checkbox to a cell. And so I, I again I right clicked on the circuit breaker. I came down to format control here under cell link. 
and I'm going to just choose, I don't know, right here, N2. Okay, I have that linked. And so now what happens when I check the box, N2 becomes true, uncheck it, becomes false. And it's basically asking, this cell asks, is this box checked, true, false. Okay, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to any cell that is part of the circular reference. And I know because I built the, built the spreadsheet and, and ideally you'll have an idea of which cells are related to the circular reference. But any cell that's part of that circular reference, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna add a formula. All, and all I'm going to ask is I'm gonna say if this cell right here, N2, I'm gonna lock that in with an F4. If that equals true, or in other words, if my circuit breaker is box is checked, I'm gonna make this cell a value one. If not, I'm going to do this formula, which was the formula I had before, which is a circular reference, essentially interest rate multiplied by loan balance. Interest rate divided by 12, because I'm assuming these are months, times the loan balance here, okay? And I hit enter, and I'm just gonna copy these over, and there it is. I'm also gonna, going to go to this cell. I'm just gonna change the font to white, just for visual. So I don't see that anymore. Now what you're going to see is when I check this box, notice all these cells become one. Again, because this cell is asking, before it runs the iterative calculation, it asks, is this box checked? No, yes, no, yes. Okay. Now that we've done that, our circuit breaker is in place. And so if we come up, we accidentally hit H. Oh, shoot, that aired out. Let's put a five back in. Oh no, this thing's in big trouble. We we'll hit our circuit breaker, turns that back to one, undo it, and we're back to where we were before. That's the trick. Matt Robinson, thank you. And if you have any questions, feel free to uh, shoot me an email. Have a nice day.